Stephanie Graves here with USCfootball.com. I'm here talking with Xavier Gribble today. How was being on a baseball field? Uh, it was a little different. Uh, yeah. The grass is better. You yeah. know, we uh, kind of shredded ours up a little bit, so it's kind of nice to get out here, get a new environment, and kind of uh, have a good practice. You know, it's a pretty good day. Speaking of new facilities, how's the McKay Center? Oh, it's awesome, man. Uh, I mean, I love much as I love our old place and all the tradition we had there. It's a uh, it's good to get a, you know an updated place with a lot of new things and a lot of more space and just a place where we can call home and uh, just kind of hang around with all the guys and just be together, so it's a good place. Speaking of being back together, a lot of you guys had some pretty serious injuries during the spring, really affected the depth. How's the tight end group progressing this um, season? I think we're doing a great job. Uh, Coach Mace has done a great job this offseason uh, coming up with different techniques and schemes, you know, to help us get better. And um, me and Randolph kind of taking on the role of being the older guys and kind of leading the young guys up. And they're doing a wonderful job. They're way ahead than we were back then. So I think we're doing a real good job right now. Speaking of some of the newer guys, how's Cope Fitzpatrick doing? He's doing pretty good. Um, he's ahead, you know, where we were, just knowledge-wise of the, uh, the offense and everything. He's doing a great job. He's going to keep, you know, keep taking our wing and putting him around him and uh, just keep progressing him. And uh, he's going to be a good, good player in the future. But what about you personally? How would you rate your performance? Um, I think I've been doing all right. Uh, you know, I've been trying to come out here, have a good attitude, and just give it all I got every day and try to improve every day. And I think I've been doing pretty good. Uh, I could do a lot better, I think. So. But uh, as long as I just stay grounded and uh, keep and stay in my playbook, I'll be fine. What are some of the expectations that you and Coach Mesa have for the tight end group? Um, well, we've always talked, always talked about being uh, trying to be the best group, not only on the team, but the best group in the country. And that's what we're pushing for, you know, because every day we're competing against, you know, everybody across the world. So that's our goal. We want to be the best sound group. You want to be able to block, be able to run routes, catch passes, and do it all. So that's our focus right now. Yeah. Could you explain a little bit what was going on with T. Martin and the little contest we had going here? Um, it was actually, um, we were actually just getting some extra work in. You know, T. Martin, he's the old quarterback, so we were trying to see if his arm was still good, see if he could out throw us. You know, we were just trying to run under it and you know, get used to catching balls over the shoulder. Just a little extra work, just kind of making the fun out of it, you know, mm -hmm. so just getting better as a group. So who won, T. Martin or the receivers? Uh, I mean, I saw T. Martin overthrow a lot of guys, so I guess he still got it. But, you know, guys like Marquise Lee and George Farmer and Robert Woods are pretty hard to overthrow. So I would say the receivers won today. Okay. Signing off from Dado Field today, this is Stephanie Graves for USCfootball.com.